Very good morning students. I hope everyone is doing really well and so are we. Since the time of revision is going on, so let us revise the chapter The Adventures of the Blue Carbon Girl. This particular story is a part of the Sherlock Holmes series written by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. He is very well known for writing mysterious stories where the main character is always the Sherlock Holmes who plays a detective. His book is really famous because he has mysterious story written inside his novel. Mostly people also take these stories for making movies and those movies have done really well in the industry. He uses scientific and logical reasoning and he tries to solve thriller and horror mysteries in a very systematic way and also keeps his readers intact throughout. This is the, this is actually the reason why people like Sherlock Holmes series and this is also the reason why people love to see his series in the form of movies. So The Adventure of Blue Carbuncle is one of the stories of his novel. So let us continue with its revision. Let us begin with the value points of the chapter. The Adventure of Blue Carbuncle is set during the Christmas period. So the time that is shown in the chapter is Christmas time. Mr. Watson, now who is Mr. Watson? Mr. Watson is an old friend of Sherlock Holmes and often in his stories he is seen solving the mystery cases. Mr. Watson visits his old friend Holmes and finds him examining a battered hat. So what Mr. Watson observed when he visited Holmes? He observed that Holmes is mysteriously observing a battered, a very old and toned hat. The hat along with a fresh goose was brought to him by his security guard Peterson. In the early hours of Christmas Day, Peterson saw some people attacking a man. So what's the story behind the hat and the goose? The hat and the goose was brought to Holmes by Peterson who is his security guard. He saw that a man, a poor old man, when he was uh, walking by the streets, with a goose in his hand and a hat on his head, he was attacked by a group of rough men. Peterson wanted to help that man, but seeing him in uniform, even he fled as he had broken a window in the scuffle with the roughs. So when Peterson saw and when he ran to help that old man, Old man also ran away along with those rough men. Why? Because of his uniform. He thought that he belongs to police. And because in the scuffle with the rough men, accidentally he happened to hit a window. Okay. And because he was afraid of it, so he also ran away, leaving behind his hat and the goose. Peterson was left with his hat and the goose which he gave to Holmes in the hope of returning to the rightful owner. So Peterson as he wanted to help but he couldn't. So what he did, he took the hat and the goose and handed over to Holmes so that he could properly help to return this to the rightful owner. 
What now Holmes and Watson do? What he sees a card attached to the bird, the goose, and HB written inside the hat. While observing the goose and the hat, what Holmes saw that there is a card attached to the bird and there is an there is an initial of hb the name may be the name of the person who has left the hat and the goose okay it is written inside the hat peterson discovers a blue carbuncle in the throat of the bird which sherlock holmes had given him to cook holmes gives an advertisement for mr baker now over here what happens since uh, it was a christmas time and uh, goose uh, so that the goose doesn't get rotten what holmes say to the peterson that you may take uh, the goose along with you cook it and consume it eat it along with uh, eat it with your family members but what happens as soon as peterson cuts the stomach of the goose he finds a bright shining blue colored stone it's just not a diamond it's the diamond okay he immediately runs towards holmes and he shows him that what he has found inside the stomach of the goose over here they come to know looking at the blue carbuncle that it belongs to the countess of morker she had given an advertisement that whoever finds it will be rewarded and it's the same blue carbuncle that was lost from a hotel she was staying in when holmes finds out that it's the same blue carbuncle that belongs to countess of morker who stayed in hotel uh, cosmopolitan yes hotel cosmopolitan and there she found that some plumber visited her room to fix something and he has stolen away her blue carbuncle rider one of the employees of the hotel also witnesses and gives an evidence that yes it's the plumber who visited countess of morker's room and he must have stolen it now the case is becoming more interesting for Holmes what he does is he writes an advertisement for Mr Baker now let's see what happens next when finally Holmes and Watson find out Mr Baker they tell him about the goose Mr Baker leads them to Mr Breckenridge who had bought it from Mrs Oakshaw Baker Mr Baker bought the goose from Mr Breckenridge Mr Breckenridge bought the goose from Mrs Oakshot Holmes and Watson find that there was another fellow who was seeking information about the goose which irritated Mr Breckenridge after investigating a lot they come to know that there's a person who kept on asking information kept on seeking information regarding the goose from Mr Breckenridge which irritated him so Holmes convinces the man that he has all the answers finally they have reached to the person who was interested in knowing about the goose and somehow they convince him to get or to to give them all kinds of answers that he knows Holmes finally finds that man now who that man is it was Ryder yes rider is the same person who worked in hotel cosmopolitan and who puts all the blame on the plumber who visited countess of morker's room for some work but who the actual thief was it was rider okay who it was him who was interested in knowing about the goose now why because he is mrs oakshot's brother as he stole away the blue carbuncle he when visited mrs oakshots okay he somehow uh, fit manages to put that blue carbuncle into the stomach of one of the goose 
and since uh, his sister had promised him that he will that she will keep uh, the one of the best bulls for him but it got shuffled and by mistakenly the goose in which uh, the blue carbuncle was hidden okay it went to mr breckenridge and from mr breckenridge mr henry baker buys that go that goose this is how it went to mr baker who was innocent and he was not knowing anything about the blue carbuncle Holmes allows Ryder to leave and explain to Watson that he is not there to do the police's work for them and that he believes that Ryder would never do such a thing in the near future when Ryder is caught and when he convinces and when he confesses everything okay then he begs in front of Holmes to leave him Okay, and he promises that he would never do this act again. And Holmes leaves that person. He forgives him since it was a time of Christmas. Okay, and he just let him go. Watson says, in amazement, "Why did you let him go?" Holmes say, Holmes said, that he is not doing here the work of a police. What he wanted to find out, he has actually done his work. and when when uh, and in terms of rider he knows that he is not going to repeat this act again students i hope you all have got the gist of the chapter it was just a small little revision all right now let us jump to the reference to the context part i the very first one is i did not care to spend more money in a hopeless attempt at recovering them answers first one who is the speaker here mr henry baker is the speaker here who is he talking to he is talking to sherlock holmes which hopeless attempt is he talking about he is talking about the attempt to recover his hat and the goods answer in short when did watson visit sherlock holmes watson visited sherlock holmes two days after christmas why did holmes give peterson the goods holmes gave peterson the goods because it showed signs that it should be eaten immediately now the third question has to be solved by you as it is a personal response question what's the question do you think peterson was too naive now what do you understand by the word naive naive means the one who does not act wisely okay so why do you think peterson did not act wisely at that time think about the question know about the chapter more and answer it really well now let us jump to synonyms some vocabulary part amazement which means surprised or in wonder synonym for it is astonishment recourse means source of help synonym for which is refuge devouring devouring means to eat quickly or in in a hurry manner it means eating simple striding means to walk synonym for which is marching launched means in a relaxed position synonym for which is idled antonyms antonyms opposite words hubbub what do you understand by the word hubbub means chaos noise crowded place for which the antonym is harmony means peaceful rough in context 
to the chapter over here rough means completely uh, ill mannered okay hooligan kind of a person which means uh, for which uh, the antonym is sophisticated means mannered one believable unconvincing despair means completely hopeless for which the antonym is hopefulness and plentiful for which the antonym is meager meager means completely in less quantity so children i hope you all have followed the revision of the chapter the adventure of blue carbuncle i believe that you go through with all the questions and answers along with the grammar and vocabulary part till then take care goodbye